Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the first video in IB Biology Topic 6, Human Physiology, where we will be looking at digestive anatomy, digestion, the passage of food, and absorption. All goods consumed by humans pass through the alimentary canal, a highly efficient and organised system within our body. For your IB Biology exam, you need to know the components, which are the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, the pancreas, the small intestine, the large intestine, the rectum, and the anus. Throughout the digestive tract, there are a number of enzymes acting at each of these locations to aid the breakdown of food, known as digestion. Digestion is formally defined as the breakdown of large insoluble macromolecules into smaller soluble monomers. The principal enzymes used are carbohydrases, lipases and proteases. Carbohydrases break down carbohydrates. You need to know three specific examples. Amylase, which digests 1,4 linkages of starch into molecules of maltose. During this process it leaves molecules with 1,6 linkages, called dextrins. Maltase, which digests maltose into two molecules of glucose and dextrinase, which digests dextrins into two molecules of glucose. Lipases break down lipids into fatty acids and monoglycerides. Proteases break down proteins into amino acids. So, what happens where? Let's go through each of the structures and their role in detail. In the mouth, Teeth and the action of chewing cause mechanical digestion of food. In addition, chemical digestion of starch begins as food is mixed with saliva that contains amylase. The bolus of food then enters the esophagus, where it moves to the stomach using contraction of the muscular walls, known as peristalsis. During peristalsis, inner circular muscles contract behind the bolus, outer longitudinal muscles contract ahead of the bolus, and inner circular muscles contract behind the bolus, pushing it forwards. Contraction in this way mixes food with salivary amylase and exerts continuous force of varying strength, moving food in a unidirectional manner in what is known as a single peristaltic wave. The bolus then enters the stomach, where muscular wall contraction churns and mixes food with pepsin, a protease, and so protein digestion begins. Meanwhile, the presence of stomach acid works to kill pathogens. The resulting content is known as chyme. At this stage in the digestive system, there are three structures to mention which play an important role but never come in direct contact with chyme. These are the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. The liver detoxifies blood and produces bile. Bile is an alkaline substance which emulsifies fat i.e. breaks it down into smaller droplets so that lipases can work more efficiently, and neutralises acidic chyme to provide an optimum pH for digestion. The gallbladder, which stores and secretes bile into the small intestine, and the pancreas, which secretes the digestive enzymes such as amylase and various lipases and proteases into the small intestine. Back to the passage of food. Chyme leaves the stomach, and enters the small intestine, where it is neutralised by bile from the gallbladder. Then the bulk of digestion occurs thanks to amylase, lipases and proteases secreted by the pancreas. Peristalsis moves the contents through the small intestine and helps to mix these enzymes thoroughly. The contents then enter the large intestine, where further digestion of carbohydrates by symbiotic bacteria occurs. In addition, Water is reabsorbed, forming faeces. Faeces then enters the rectum, where it is stored. Digestion is now complete. Finally, the faeces exits the body through the anus via a process known as egestion. So, you now know how food enters our mouth, is digested and exits our body. But how do we benefit from this process of digestion? You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.